this is a Squire Strat. It's uh, from the classic Vibe series. Um, these are crafted in China. Um, I've heard only good things about these guitars. Um, everybody seems to like them. They're incredible value for money. So let's check it out in closer detail. It's got an alder body, um, two or three pieces. Um, color on this one is candy apple red and it is stunning. It's got a very, very nice finish. Um, it's got the traditional strat style bridge. Uh, there is no stamp on the saddles. Uh, three pickups are Alnico. Alnico 3s, I think. Um, you got your tone and volume. Pots. Five way switch. This one has a rosewood fingerboard and the radius is 9.5. Its stock has got a nice kind of a yellow stain going through it. The vintage tuners. Mm. Really, really nice finish. Looks like glass. Back of the pegboard. Um, designed and backed by Fender, crafted in China. Great finish on it. There is no skunk trail on the back of the neck. Um, keeping with the tradition. The four bolt neck clamp and the back plate. With the back plate removed, you can clearly see it's one of those thin uh, tremolo blocks. The body is the um, full width, it's not skinny like some of the Squires, um, they're just a little bit more rounded. Um, than the Mexican fenders say. The finish on the uh, fingerboard is very good. There's no rough edges with the frets or anything like that. It's really, really smooth. The lacquer is pretty thick. Um, so this um, baby needs um, new strings, a proper setup. And the neck has some discolouring, um, possibly um, oil from somebody's hands. Um, I forgot to mention this guitar also has medium jumbo frets and not spaghetti frets that would have been the norm back in the 60s. So I'm going to restring it um, and I'm going to treat this neck with some oil uh, to bring it back to its nice dark colour. One thing, there's hardly any wear on the frets. This guitar looks like it was hardly played. Okay, so I got my uh, my Danish, and uh, I'm going to apply some on a soft cloth. I'm gonna massage it in, <laughs> and uh, get rid of that white. Um, Um, these guitars, they just feel more expensive than they actually are. This is good for the wood. Get rid of that white. Sometimes white can happen um, in damp environments like attics and stuff. We've got extreme temperature changes. Um, it's a fine slab of rosewood. In fairness. So here it is, good to go. It's, uh, action and the intonation is set up, and it's strung with gauge ten, roto sound, yellows. Going to run it through my Fender Super 210 all valve, and it's also going through my pedal board. Okay.
Okay, so this is the um, the bridge pickup. This is bridge in middle. This is the uh, middle pickup. This is um, middle and neck. And this is the uh, neck pickup. with the uh, Boss SD2 dual overdrive. SD2 in the lead mode. Try a little bit of dimension C mode two. DM3 delay Very, very great strat sound.
really sweet tone on it. Uh, yeah, so what more could you ask for for the price? Uh, yeah, it's a knockout. <laughs> Till next time, take care.